Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your source for Second Amendment news. The end of last week, uh, Governor Jared Polis of Colorado signed into law HB 1177, which is their red flag bill. Uh, you might remember I did a video in February when it was filed, uh, but it did get signed into law. And this is an interesting scenario because it uh, two-thirds of Colorado uh, of their counties have become Second Amendment sanctuary uh, counties. And numerous sheriffs have come out saying we will not enforce any laws such as the red flag, which will violate someone's rights. If somebody were to put a red flag on you and the judge finds that you're a risk to yourself or others, you have 14 days for a hearing to prove your innocence, where uh, it used to be up to the, you know, the, the, the government to prove you guilty beyond reasonable doubt. Uh, but now you have to prove your innocence and you have to provide your own uh, attorney even though you haven't been charged for a crime, they will not give you a court-appointed attorney. If you are found at that hearing to be a danger, then you are barred and prohibited in Colorado from buying, owning, purchasing, touching, smelling, licking a firearm for 364 days. There are no plans. What happens after that? Will you ever be able to carry again? Will your rights be taken away permanently? Uh, but that was the law as passed uh, this week. Something interesting is in some other states where red flags have passed and become law, uh, not many police departments come out against them because they're kind of like in this area where they don't want to say too much because uh, it's, let's face it, it's illegal and unconstitutional and it could lead to cops getting killed. Uh, but the two biggest police departments in Colorado, both Denver and Aurora, have come out against the red flag. Douglas County Sheriff Tony Spurlock has been a big proponent for this bill, backing it uh, intensely. And as a result, he is now facing a recall effort to bounce him out of office. On the flip side, uh, Weld County Sheriff Steve Reams disagree disagrees with the red flag totally. And he even said he's willing to go to jail rather than to enforce it. So he'd rather not enforce it and get jammed up than to enforce it. And that is what every cop, every chief, every sheriff, every colonel in the state, not, not even just in the state, in every state should be doing because we are sworn to abide by the Constitution. In fact, let me read you a quote from Sheriff Reams. He says, quote, If a court order comes down telling a sheriff or a deputy they have to serve a red flag order, they have a choice to make. They can either go down a road of violating someone's constitutional rights or violate the court order, which would result in them sitting in jail for a period of time. Frankly, I'll choose the latter. So congratulations. I mean, he's doing what he should be doing. He shouldn't be congratulated. He should be expected to do that. Uh, but it's that's just telling of what we the, the times we live in right now. Now, Colorado has become the 15th state uh, to sign a red flag bill into law. Uh, D.C. also did it as well. And there are now 29 other states contemplating adding the red flag in. And don't forget, we have our, our uh, Republicans in the Senate, Lindsey Graham and Marco Rubio, who also are trying to get national red flag bills instituted. So... Another red flag, another loss for the Constitution, another loss for the Second Amendment. But uh, hopefully, hopefully uh, we'll wake up before it's too late. Uh, please pass us along. This is the latest news out of Colorado. Red flag is now law. Please pass us along until we see each other again. Thank you so much. We are very close to 100,000 subscribers. That is a goal I never thought I would reach. And with your help, I'll get there. So if you're not subscribed, hit that button down below and join this growing freedom family. Be safe, stay vigilant, carry your weapon. Take care, everybody.